Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today on the Central 48, we're going to be making an adult buffalo print or gingham winter hat. So I am using Red Heart Soft for this project. We have black. This is really red. And I think this is just called burgundy. Let me find the color here. Sorry, wine. So black, really red, and wine. Those are the three colors that you're going to need for this project. If you are looking for a child size, I did do a child size for the Central 48 in the black, gray, and white gingham. Um, and you can find that uh, in my playlist. This one's going to be for adults. Um, but we... You, it's easy to make the adjustment to a kid's size and we'll go over that in the video So we are going to find our white pin mine's right here This is a 48 so the pattern will be for a 48 and We are going to start with the really red color We're going to go behind and front behind and front to load our machine And make sure your white pin is going to grab this. So when you come back around, you should be behind this last pin. If you're not, you've done something wrong. Anyway, put your thing, your yarn into the carriage. Mine's going to be in the tight tension in the front, but for the most part, I'm going to be holding it in my hands, so it doesn't really matter. The first two rows are just going to be done in the red on the machine, because the first round will put it on every other hook and then the second round will put it on every hook and you want to just make sure it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. So that's two rows. I'm going to reset my counter. The first round that we do here is going to be done with burgundy and red. We're going to do four rows of each sequence. I'm going to get my stool here. We're going to do four rows of each sequence with burgundy and red. And then that's when we're going to switch the colors and start the buffalo print. So get your burgundy or your wine color. I just call it burgundy. Um, we are starting with the red, so you don't have to do anything with your burgundy just yet. The red is going to start on pin 1 and 2. This white pin is pin 48, so it doesn't count as anything. Pin 1 and pin 2 is where your red is going to start. Three and four is where your burgundy is going to start. So we're going to put that in there and the red's going to be behind it. We're going to do two knits of each color. So two red, two burgundy, and then we're going to switch and do two red. Switch again, two burgundy, two red, two burgundy, all the way around.
So you're going to end off on two burgundy, which will be 47 and 48 will be two burgundy. So number one and number two will be your two red. So if you're using a 48, you don't have to do any finagling here for these colors yet. So this should just be the same for the next three rows. That's what you're going to do is two red, two wine. So my two reds start on one and two, just like they're supposed to. And then I'm just going to follow my colors, which is really hard because they are kind of close. But as long as you know that you've started your two red on one and two, you should be okay. As long as you're finishing 47 and 48 with your burgundy color. So I am back, I am finished my four rows and we need to incorporate the black. So we, the next four rounds that we do are going to be wine and black. So this red can drop right down into the center. Now it is still hooked around the 46th pin and we're just going to leave it like that. Your next round, burgundy is going to start on number one and number two because burgundy is now going to replace the red and the black is going to be on top of the burgundy. So our burgundy right now is on 47 and 48. We want to replace that. You'll never see this long piece inside the hat so don't worry about the fact that it's it's draping like that we're going to put the black around 47 and 48 so it's going to be over the burgundy so let's just get that to catch and then burgundy is now going to be one and two because it's going to be over the red and we're going to do this for four rows so one and two are burgundy, three and four are black, and so on and so forth for the next four rows. You should come back around where your 47 and 48 pin are picking up the black and one and two are going to pick up the burgundy again. So three more rows and I'll meet right back here.
So that's my three rows. So you can you can see the, the, the boxes that we have going on on here. So then we switch again. And then black's going to go in the middle and our red's going to come out. So in a minute, we're going to talk about how many rows that we have to do for kids or for adults. But right now, let's just get our color changes done. So we need burgundy to be on 47 and 48 and our black to go in the middle. I pull all my stuff out <laughs> a little too much. So black can come off of 47 and 48 and it can just drop down. Burgundy can take its place on 47 and 48. And then we pick up red again and we start all over. So for adults, you're gonna go to your marker says 50. If you want to do a brim, then I will meet you right back here and we'll do a brim together. And I'm not doing my my full hat in gingham. It's only going to be the 50 rows from me. After the brim, it's just going to be a solid color because that's what's going to be up inside the hat. So if you want to do that as well, um, it's an option because this is very time consuming and you only need the outside really done. So... I'm going to do my 50 rows and I will meet you right back here. Just keep repeating the same thing. The pattern will go up on the screen for you to follow and with the written instructions and just continue on doing what I just showed you and making sure that your colored yarn lands on the number that's provided for you on the screen and I will meet you right back here. So that's my three rows. Um, my counter says 51. So we need to just decide what the brim color is going to be. So you can have black as a brim color or the burgundy or the red or whatever. But whichever color you choose, um, this is where you're going to pick it. So I do not want red anymore. So I'm going to cut that off, uh, leaving a tail. I don't want my burgundy anymore because I'm just going to use black from here on out. So I'm going to cut my burgundy off, leaving a tail. So I just want my black in this case. So I'm going to tie these two together here. Snip this off. So my brim and the inside of my hat are all going to be the same color. So whatever brim color you want to use, we're going to do 40 for a brim. 
So I'll meet you back after 40 rows of whatever brim color you've chosen. I'm going to put my black back in my carriage and into my tight tension, so the one right at the beginning. So that is my brim color. So that's my counter is now at 90. So you can change again for the inside of your hat color, or you can go back to put the buffalo print for the inside of your hat. I'm not going to do the buffalo print for the inside of my hat. So that's what we're going to do next. So I will meet you back. So we're going to take our yarn out and I want you to make sure it's long enough to at least go around the entire. We're going to take this off. So I use one of these hooks that have a hook hook on the end of it. That's easier. I got them on Amazon. So little bits at a time, this is certainly something somewhere you don't want to drop stitches. So turn it one at a time, see if I can zoom down so you can see. So you're going to go in and you're going to go in between these two teeth and you're going to pick this off. one by one at first and then when you've got a little bit of wiggle room you can do more than one at a time but this is a lot of work so you want to be very careful not to drop any stitches my camera's shaking probably with every turn just me trying to show you So when you get a little bit of wiggle room, you can do two at a time. Pull your yarn this way and not this way because it might pop off the next stitch. So now that we have it off, we're going to have a look. So if there's anything on the inside, I mean, I already tied what we needed to tie on the inside already. So let's figure out this jumbled mess here. So I didn't start with black and I didn't start with burgundy. I am going to tie these two even though they're not really near each other. <laughs> I'm going to tie them together back here. Just because I don't want anything to happen. 
So it, the first knot doesn't have to be tight by any means. So we don't want to do any sort of pulling that's unnecessary. So we started with red. So that's what we're going to pull on. I'm just going to cut some off for sewing because it's really long. Once you pull, it's really long. So now your kids one should be a decent size. Um, the last kids one, the other kids one I did on my channel was the other colors, the black, gray, and white, and I did it with a uh, Patton's Astra, so it was only a three weight, so it turned out to be a really good size. So all I'm doing here is around this hole, I am just weaving in and out, and I'm pulling, and I'm going to do that all the way around the hole. It gives it a better look before I tie my knots. It'll give it a more um, flatter look. Um, don't really have to do this if you're putting a pom-pom on it, but I'm not because I know my husband is not going to want a pom-pom. And this hat is going to him, so we're just trying to make this look polite on top. Nothing like a rude hat to ruin your day. I'm just joking. You guys know I'm joking. So now that I've got it looking good, I'm going to pop across the hole. I'm going to make a knot. And I'm going to do it in the other direction as well. And I'm going to make a knot. Just Try to pull your knot back and forth. It really tightens it down. So now that I got that part done, I can come over here. So you can stretch out your hat. This just relaxes your stitches. Uh, right now we don't really, doesn't really matter, but we're going to cinch this end up. This one you don't have to make it look pretty around the hole, you can just make your knots. But if you want to, you certainly can. I'm just going to make knots. It's the inside of my hat, it doesn't need to look pretty. So once you got your knots done, I'm just going to start by poking my needle into the middle and then I grab everything and shove it up. My needle, I already know, is already in the middle of my project, so when I get here, I just pop it out into the middle of this top part. Give it a shake, holding both your pieces together. That way you know the other side is actually in the other side. And I'm not doing a pom-pom, so... He would use these to do a pom-pom. I did a, oh, I didn't do a, oh, I did a pom-pom on my uh, child's one. So if you need to see how to do a pom-pom, then I would just go to my kid's buffalo print one. But I'm not putting one here. So I'm just doing three tight knots to join those two together. And then I'm going to go in between. To weave. So now we can stretch our hat out. Now the squares look better once you can stretch it all out with these stitches and relax these stitches a little bit better. And then my my brim for an adult hat. So this will fit a men's. Like 140 will fit a men's. Sometimes, depending on the yarn, I'll do 130 rows for women's 
and then 120 rows for kids again depending on the yarn but there we go our buffalo print winter hat thanks for joining me guys i'll see you in the next video